Hello everybody, welcome back to another daily vocal warm-up. I'm Miss Susie and in this video I wanted to share with you another one of the cool features as part of the app Perfect Ear. I'm not endorsed by this app, I just think it's really cool. It has a lot of really cool bells and whistles. So Perfect Ear. What we're doing this time, we're going to the ear training portion of this. So before we were working on rhythm training, now we're working on ear training, okay? So again, you have your all of your theory text that explains what intervals are and how you name an interval. Um, it has a nice little chart with um, how many half steps create the interval that you need if it's a major second, minor second, you know, perfect fifth, diminished fifth, whatever. It tells you how many um, how many half steps you need, what it's called, etc. Okay. But for this video, we're going to talk about the interval comparison. And it starts off with major and minor seconds. So we're gonna press start. So what we're listening for is which interval is larger. All right, so let's listen again. So the first interval was da da. The second one was da da. So the first interval was larger. So I'm gonna press first. And there we are. There it is. Okay, next. Da, da. That's an. Which one was larger? The second one. All right, we got it. Okay, next. Da, da. Da, da. The second interval was larger there. The second interval was smaller. Did you hear how it was like really, really close together? So the first interval was larger. Next. Da -da. Da -da. The second interval was larger for sure. So there you go. It keeps on going that away. Um, we have major and minor thirds then. Da -da. Da -da. The second interval was larger. Okay. Ba bomb. Ba bomb. Which one was larger? The first one. Okay. So you see how this goes. I really hope that you can use this app to help train your ears and listen for those little tiny disparities between. Uh, notes and intervals. And thank you for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow.